start on. Okay, down through here, post, and we're heading right down to the, the headland there. Let's go. Gotta keep an eye out for me. Like I said, so much wet on this side. Good if you're up in the, the heather of the moor. Whoa, slipping and sliding. Oh, he's off that way. Let's see if I can traverse. Big hop. So, all the way down, zigzag down there. And I'm using the, I put my enduro guard in the front, stuck in the back, to keep all this here relatively clear. So, so we've got three jobs to do. And there's already here, this rock face. Even more so from the side, but from down there, I was just saying to Gavin, I have a physical face, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, with the flat nose. And I think one of the guys that actually, I have to look up this one, King of Norway, or was one of the, the Viking leaders, was like Kilfried Flatnose was his name. Maybe that was him in rock form. Uh, and they were coming from, and we're heading over there. Look at that water. And as we come up over this part here, up over the shoulder, drum roll. Look at that. So, this is Dalmore and its sister beach will be Dalbeck. More being big, uh, Beck Small, probably know that. Down to the cemetery, but look at the waves. Perfect for surfing. And we're going to be. Are we cutting around the back of the beach? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to work our way around the headland and uh, head up over there. And the sun's come out just on time, perfect. So you get to see the colour of the, the ocean as it is. So you lead the way, Gavin. I'll just. Oh, I can see the post. Keep Gavin in sight. Look at there, stone coming here. Hey, you said look out, there's a right turn here you need to watch out for. <laughs> yeah. So we've come back up from that ridge. Now looking back onto Dalmore. It's even better now here. It's just getting better looking at a minute. It's just showing off as well with the sun. So obviously we've got a little ravine to cross here, so I'll uh, be prepared for that one. It's just well Gavin was with us today because at least I can keep an eye on him where he's going and if it wasn't there it'd be a bit more sketchy. But we're doing it. So it's that inside pedal clip. Yeah. That's the that's a bit you gotta watch a bit for here. Uh. Yeah. Okay, off camber as you can see. <laughs> Get your pedal strokes in where you can. <laughs> okay, finally in the right gear. Just falling. Some of the best looking. Sounds good. Some of the best looking cemeteries. Shame they can't enjoy it. I suppose they're, they're living relatives can maybe. Sure, that's the point. And we're down, so we're after. Are you down to the beach? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like driving a forklift there. 
Our wheels are going diff completely different directions, it's moving forward. So, coming again for a different angle. I went for a wee dip at Gary Beach the other day and um, the sun, sun had gone. And it just it makes it feel so much colder. It's definitely a lot warmer today, a lot, lot warmer. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> How's that for a view, Mike? Look at the waves today. Holy crumbs, man. That's some serious, yeah, a good four or five foot, probably bigger than that actually back there. So we've come up, we've been around the headlands, we came round, not the highest point, but worked our way down. There you go. What more do you want? Well, Thank you, Sunshine and Dalmore. <laughs> you want to see Look at that surf. I mean, this is just. That is, look at it, it's just peeling over, it's just going, how long and rideable is that break? It just, it's just going and going and going. Look at this, it's picking up there and it's just going all the way in, breaking both ways. I think I have to put a hashtag surf on this. Oh no, it's the, so we're way out in that headland over there to the right and we've just worked our way down back of the beach Surfer's Paradise The thing I like about this is you've got the short techie ups and downs and your links together and it all, it all makes sense together and uh, everything 
It is, it worked them out your head. I think it would make you a much better rider. So grippy. My goodness, the wind. <laughs> the wind has picked up. In the distance here, you can see how big. Work away around the headland. Beautiful. <laughs> the wind, the wind blew me. Yeah, so the side wind, pretty outrageous, so we'll just have to, you can see in the distance a wee faint thing, yeah, there's just a new fence there, so we'll just have to see if we can follow the contours. I think I haven't cracked on though. <laughs> Give it my OTB guinea pig. Okay, so there's a wee, I can see. He's locked up the back end. I right, better follow him now. Oh, he's coming back anyway. Oh, hold on. Hidden rock. It's a thing about this when the grass gets so big. kind to us today and uh, we're heading around here into Dalbeg straight ahead is that big fissure right down the rock complete sheer drop down there so we're gonna head around this way and see how we go Jack Sand, I know, flip sake, look at that. Amazing. Lovely wee beach. It's a geocache in there as well. Is that right? Yeah, yeah uh, we found that when we were away on a, on a recent holiday. That's how you do. So what I'll do is I might just go and pedal down there. I'll just get the uh Yeah, I'll get the line down there.
no manuals this time uh. Here's the coast I hope I've got this on Excellent so there's the old Taidus up there and I said there's a geocache in there that's where people used to live here and waking up with that view oh look at the breakers now look at that <whistles> yeah I think big, even bigger rips than this one surely because it's so much narrower that all that body of water is going to swirl back out okay. here we go, just come down that coast there oh I love this wee beach I always need the biggest beaches. It's got everything you need there, and I've had plenty of picnics over there before. I'm going to head up and make a decision. Uh, front ends is dancing around here look at the relatively short chain stays in this one that good for maneuverability but I think the latest model is the kind of longer lower slacker stuff and the sea post as well isn't the steepest angle compared to nowadays so that's my climbing excuses out the way uh, oh amazing Okay, we're at Dalbeg and it's been so stunning so far that I'm going to have to put it into, into two rides I'm not going to continue from here to Shawbust The reason being, I said to Gavin there's so many more things to show and uh, there's so much more different varied coastline from here on to Shawbust It's also where my mother's side of the family my Shannon and Shanna uh, were from and uh, I've got some relatives and stuff like that and I'd like to do a bit more justice to that side of things and there's also some stunning um, sea arches, low holes and all sorts of stuff and the Norse Mill so there's so much more to see here that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here I'm going to head back up and go back to where we started into Gjernan and uh, I'll do a wee brief summary and outro there and uh, unless there's anything else I'll see on the way but it's, it's been absolutely fabulous stunning and uh, hopefully the footage will speak for itself I'm sure it will and we'll do this in two sections, I'll be back again with Gavin, maybe Alistair and we'll do this as a second part and we'll show you the next part of the west coast It's just that rock about the second part of the beach is first part but because there's a, a drop right at the side Oh yeah yeah, no I'll go up higher but you, That's why I went high on the way up Yeah yeah yeah, no no I'll go It's less of an issue because you've got your carrying speed through it Yeah yeah uh, I still will totally go high Yeah I'll go high <laughs> Let's work our way back down in Dalbeg. Oh, where's he gone? Yeah, yeah. I think you can see why. What's that? I <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> Hiya, hello. Hey, Just say hello. You're on, you're on YouTube now. You're on YouTube. 
<laughs> that's Rudy, that's Gavin's dog. And you're definitely back soon. Are you lost your absence? Oh, oh she's a yeah, hello. Hey, funny wee dogs. Funny wee dogs. Are oh, you going to be YouTube stars? <laughs> All right, so we'll cut back in. Gavin will be picking up later on. Yep, enjoy the rest of the day with this lovely weather. Double bike rack. Oh, hi, yeah. Cheerio. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's uh, Gavin's family and his dog that he's left there, so you'll just go back and pick him up on the way back, won't you? Yeah, I'll call him. How about we dogs? This video will have everything <laughs> cute dogs, <laughs> big clips, beaches. <laughs> section and I'm looking in Kevin just kept me right here so we're working away into the headland there first big one for us away near Val and then it's Stulaval I think Sunyval into sort of more big hills um Grimmer Stowey keep panning around now we're moving towards Harris and probably the most discernible thing is in that V shape we've got the Clisham and Stronskurst and that wee kind of valley where the Eagles Observatory is over that wee peak so that's into the Harris Hills so just to kind of give you a panorama, it must be a fairly high snow actually. So we're in Carloway. And Carloway uh, again is the way is the bay and Carla is hill. So it's the hill and the bay. So that's obviously why we're up higher. So then we're just going to get ready and hit the road and back to Garnet. 19th century, bit of engineering there. It's one of the first flyover bridges built in the UK, I think. Built in the 19th century into the village of Carloway. That'll take you back into Stornoway. And uh, off we go, road to Garnon. Okay, that's me back in uh, Garnon. And what a ride. That was absolutely tremendous. Before I just carry on walking, just behind me, I couldn't find a peach sack before. That's them there, so they look like that's the stuff you cut out. That's what the scarring across the, the landscape is. You cut that out, dry it, and use that for your fuel um, all winter long. In fact, all year long, and that is also if you wonder where you get the, the smell and the taste out of the peated whiskies. It's that they used to peat the, the maltings, and the maltings are used in the barley malts. Uh, Amy, what? Just going to take a walk through the village. Um, I've stayed here a few times in the past, and as I said, these are became uh, the last people to live in these left from the, from the 70s, I think it was, was the last family, and then they've taken over by trust and. Although they look like the traditional black is, which they are from the outside, the inside is way more, um, I feel more habitable and it's got the mod cons and that kind of stuff. But anyway, back to the ride. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's not cross country, it's not enduro, it's not MTV, it's not trials. It's uh, adventure biking, if that's a, such a thing. But it used every single skill. It was technical, it was some bits fast and flowy, but all different types of terrains but that's just the cycling the views the history the landscape everything was just stunning from beginning to end and to top it off the sun just came out just to put uh, a tin lid in it so i hope you enjoyed this this has been something that i probably wouldn't have done if i hadn't been at full fitness i had other plans to do and uh, it was the you know back to kind of the usual sort of steep gnar and stuff like that so this was completely different but at all aspects of it i think it's opened up a new avenue of riding to me and something i'm going to explore more thanks to gavin Ehrens, he's uh, he's away just now he um uh, he you know, was a mountain bike leader and, and without him i would have really had struggles with this thing uh, with this picking out the trail here but we're going to meet up again with him and probably alistair next time i'm back up for more um more kind of coastal adventures and adventures inland and up into the mountains and just to see what kind of what we can find but yeah until next time i will be coming back and doing some trail center stuff some other uh, mountains various things like that but um this was just stunning i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye